It is almost time for the brand new world, Go Rush World in Duel Links. We've got, of course, the Chronicle Falling update coming as well. We've got the whole Duel World UI refresh, which should be really cool. New cards, boxes, structure decks, etc. is going to be a really fun time as always. But we've got some more news to go through, posted today by Konami. We've got some leaks and we've got some screenshots of Go Rush World before the co-op update coming potentially tomorrow. Bring skill leaks and card leaks and feature leaks. Should be really big and, of course, the weekend is the Tokyo Game Show reveal stream, which of course will have more information which will be really fun to go through, so let's dive right in. So first of all, we're getting Udyssey's Ace Monster Galactic Oblivion as an Overrush Rare, which will be pretty cool. Um, hopefully not in the main box, right, as an Ultra Rare card, it would kind of suck getting in the vanilla, even if it's usable when seeing play, it would just kind of suck, so maybe they put this one in a structure deck, right, so you get one copy for free, and then get multiple copies via the structure deck, would be pretty cool. But no confirmation there. Then we've got the sprites for Udius, including his uh, signature laser eyes. We've got one for Yuhi as well, and for Yuma, our main day one characters. That might be it, right? There may not be a secret character. We might be waiting until early October for a brand new character. But we'll find out potentially this week, upcoming updates, a new trailer, TGS. It's going to bring some really big news. Then we've got our first real look at the new UI in Duel specifically. Confirming we're getting Shubatara as an NPC, which is kind of cool, right? We saw with the Seventh World, we got um, Yosh, we got the Ramen guy, we got the um, alien thing as an NPC, so this kind of does line up, and I'm still not a big fan of the UI. I do kind of miss the whole character portrait that was down here. It is now in this button-esque system, which I guess makes it a bit cleaner, but it had a charm to it, right? Then... We got two brand new bundles linked via QA Doorless. Thank you, Tim, for data mining these. Both of them are really good. So first up is Trap Power's Legend card. It is the same as the Speedle version. This will be really good against non-maximum decks, right? Because a lot of time Rush Door at the moment is that they will summon a really big body, an integral body, and then from there, they can summon even more. If you can stop them before you get to that point, that'll be crazy. You know, say a Mirror Innovator coming down, stopping that is big. In Cyburst, Astro Hydron, could be massive sevens road if you hit their witch they can't go for the skill and go for sevens road magician so there are so many choke points in rush at the moment that this card will kind of solve for some decks but it does mean you can't play negate attack you can't play widespread is that going to be a worthwhile trade-off who knows but also we've got fusions coming and in rush door the fusion spell card requires cards on the field as material so if you know they've got a card coming down you can stop a fusion summon and end their turn there which could be a valid strategy. Then we've got the brand new boss for Cyber Dragons, the Assault Dragon. This one I kind of hoped was in the structure deck, but no, it's coming in a bundle with two copies. So it's like the Sky Striker one, it's going to be 600 gems, which is plenty fair, 30 packs, pretty cool. Place one Cyber Dragon in your graveyard on top of your deck to pop one of the little monster opponent controls with 2,400 more tap points. This is really, really big, but not against fusions and not against maximums. It's kind of big against most of the bodies in the game right now, most of the bosses, and it's kind of like Will Hell, and you can summon it by tributing a Cyber Dragon on your field, which could be a Proto Cyber Dragon, which makes this card a one tribute, which is really, really big. So this card is great. Um, it is, again, at the moment, I think the Cyber Dragon deck does need ways to deal with maximums, but hopefully we'll see more of that going forward. Now, onto the ones in game, the announcement in game, the brand new world release coming, this is really, really big because, first of all, we've got a campaign for 10 plus plus 1 UR card, but each of the two new boxes, so two boxes coming on day one potentially. Now, this could just mean the new Rushdoor box plus the last Speedle box, but the wording new kind of implies that we're getting two in one day, which could be two Rush boxes, could be one Speedrun Rush. That'd be pretty cool. If it was that, that would imply to me that Konami now know the Rush players, the Speed players, the audiences aren't really going to mix that much and so they're going to fear the whole oh we won't be buying one format because they now know that people really stick into one format and then maybe dipping into the other one a little bit but not too much also we're getting two new structure decks as well which is uh really cool so we'll see what those ones are again hopefully one rush one speed if not two rush would be pretty cool then we're getting the usual right gems accessories skill tickets character tickets dream tickets with both speed and rush door which is gonna be really big but also we're getting Ancient Gear Golem in Overrush Rare style for free on day one. And this is massive because this card 
is not out in the Russia OCG game for another two weeks. So we are getting, technically, a Duel Links exclusive for the very first time. The Tag Force cards don't count. It's an early Duel Links exclusive in Rush Duel, which is really, really cool. And of course, this will probably be your new Legend of Choice for the Joint Tech Rex deck and potentially for Cyber Dragon as well. Right? You know Ground Cerberus works with Earth Monsters. It's an Earth. You can play with the skill. It does piercing battle damage and also it turns off your opponent's trap cards, meaning negate attack widespread won't work, which does then make your whole trap hole even better. So it does kind of make sense why this is coming alongside this. I'd love to see him do this more. Please do this more. And finally, we've got a copy of Darmageddon coming in Aurora Foiling for the Brandon Chronicle card feature. And that's going to be this middle one here with this blue eyes gold one. So that's pretty cool. Now, we don't know how this works, right? You can get card upgrades by winning duels, sure. But do you use gold to say buy some of the features, right? To buy the name text or to buy different foilings? How do you get Chronicle cards anyway? Is it just going to be certain cards in Chronicle? Or is it going to be every card in the game? I kind of think it'll be certain ones. Um, hopefully, Rush Duel included because Overrush Rares would look really, really cool with some of these borders and effects. So that'd be neat. Um, but overall, that is a slew of updates for Go Rush World coming on October 1st. And of course, again, this week, tomorrow potentially, crop update, bunch of skill leaks, feature leaks will be really cool. And then at the weekend, getting the Go Rush World trailer, potentially on Friday, they like doing Friday for that one. But usually it does come alongside this notice, and so maybe things will be different. But either way, TGS, a big trailer, a big blur of card reveals and boxes and structure decks and information this weekend. Look forward to that one. And of course, the brand new world coming. And if you play Pokemon, Pokemon Pocket's coming out on the 26th, so uh, soft launch for that one. Maybe we'll do a video on that one, we'll see. But overall, a very exciting week for Dawn's content. I'm hyped. Let me thoughts down below. I'll see you on next time's video. Adios.